money paisa every time any student wants to grow in their career probably this is the biggest hurdle they face always whenever you want to pursue a new course or maybe go to a new organization or maybe a new city or a new country always why money comes in the way of students i don't understand right everybody will say that i don't understand why money has to come in the way of your progress in your career so basically i think that's a question which should be asked and i'm going to answer that question and why i'm qualified to answer that question is because i have personally done it so i had no money in the pocket when i came to bangalore as a student and i wanted to grow in my life i wanted to do a lot of stuff and i learned it the harder way but i'm going to make it very simple for you you can choose whatever you like and whatever you don't like you can skip and let me in the, know in the comment section what are the challenges you are facing right now apart from money uh, so that i can make a video on that as well so let's start today's topic with the first pointer and that is what to do in to grow your career when you don't have money so most important thing here is both are two different things actually so you should not associate money with career see career can still grow when there is no money okay so that's many people have done it i have done it so it's not a big deal but now let's look at what things can be done to grow your career right so first things first as soon as you pass your masters or bachelors btech or msc now you are looking for a job and uh, probably the job is in the, another city or they are offering you a lower salary you think that to start with it is a less salary should, i should not get in or probably you want to study or you want to do m m tech or phd and money is coming in your way so how should we get to what we want to go become right so that is where the first point i would like to say is you have to be resourceful now very important thing here if i don't know what is happening in my industry if i don't know where are the opportunities if i don't know what are the opportunities which has come up today like jobs or notifications in today's era then probably i will be driving blind right it will be like i don't have eyes and i'm driving it will be like that so basically if you are in the industry you must know the industry inside out so being resourceful is very important and there are two websites i personally recommend and i personally use one is biotechnica obviously and the second is linkedin both the places amazing resources you will find a lot of people share a lot of things and when you will go through those you will spend time there you will automatically become knowledgeable you automatically know where the vacancies are where you should apply where should you skip and that is where you can grow so the first point i wanted to say is being resourceful because that was not there in my era but yeah being resourceful is first thing you should do the second thing networking now networking has its own rule probably i am planning to do a separate video or maybe a webinar on networking in the future but for now i'll give you a glimpse of it so if i say that you do networking aap bologe you know what what does it mean okay i'll go to linkedin and i'll just create a profile and i'll just randomly comment on people's posts no that's not how networking is done i'll give you a small glimpse of it so just before coming for this particular video i went to linkedin and i saw somebody had posted that i am looking for a post doctorate now this guy comes in comments uh, for his friend he has tagged his friend that okay uh, you can apply here because it suits you so okay that's one way another way one girl had posted that she lost her job because of covid or recession probably and now she's looking she's open for a job immediately somebody has commented that hey uh, why don't you go for this job which exists and probably you are qualified so basically you have to spend time with people you have to connect with them on a human level and you have to benefit them right and when you do that they will come back to you whenever you are in need right so when you have done this for 100 people and when 100 first time you post on linkedin that okay i am looking for something people will help you now the best way to begin with is you can connect with me link on linkedin i post a lot of th- things on linkedin you can be interactive interactive with me you can be and you can interact with other people in my network and that will definitely help you so that's the second point the first was being resourceful the second is networking so when you when you are resourceful you automatically know where are the opportunities and when you go do networking you can definitely help someone and then obviously in return you can expect help but remember there is a one percent rule if you help 100 people maybe one person will help you but hey you want a job right you don't want 100 jobs so you don't want 100 people to help you you help ra- 100 random people one person will come and help you that's how networking works and it compounds over a period of time 
you will realize that there are thousand people standing for you whenever you need help so that's something which you should know the third thing is you know um, it doesn't cost you a lot of money but yeah it's something which you should consider that is upskilling now uh, why i'm saying upskilling because you know there are multiple online internships certification courses and uh, upskilling courses available on internet including biotechnica which you can pursue and ultimately it will help you the cost will be not more than 1000 rupees but if you can afford 1000 rupees go ahead learn it when you learn new things you become much more employable so basically uh, you know this is something which i have learned in my life harder way is if i have to become valuable to the society then i have to add more skill set and if i have to add more skill set then i have to invest on myself and investing on myself is nothing but self love so there's no harm in doing it and it's not that you're giving money to someone you're earn, earning knowledge from that person and that knowledge will be there forever so yeah the cheapest way of doing it is of course you have all these upskilling courses online but hey what if you still don't want to spend there and you still want money so or maybe you want to grow in your life so there are two ways you can still do it so let me come quickly to the fourth point now and the fourth point you can still grow in your career when you don't have money is volunteering so you know many people you know approach me also you can approach many ceos in the biotech company or many busy people and find out hey uh, i wanted to volunteer for your company i'm really impressed by the work you're doing so i wanted to volunteer and help you help you guys out so uh that way what happens is uh, that person comes and starts helping the, this busy person and then this busy person gets impressed by the work and ultimately gives a job i remember i will not take the name but one of the employees of biotechnica she is one of the best employees we, uh, we have at biotechnica biggest asset but how she got a job in biotechnica is she volunteered like she said i want to help and we were like okay if you really want to help come down and she started helping us but over a period of time like 6 months or 8 months we realized that she is so important she is so good that we gave her a job we offered her a job so you know that way you you grow in your career you got the money also and you have a stable job so yeah you know volunteering works and it works big time i know a person who uh, volunteered to help the head of a government organization and later on landed as a internship and later on landed as a government job also under deputation basis under that person so you know volunteering really works and you know networking ka next step you can say is volunteering so that's the i think um, uh, fourth thing which i can tell you so now let's look at okay while you're growing in your career you need to fund some initiatives like you want to enroll in a course and you don't have money so how do you do that that's where the fifth point comes is freelancing or part time jobs okay so i've done it personally in my life so i worked in mcdonalds i worked in a um, lot of shops as a sales person to help like i've worked in a shoe store to sell shoes because uh, i wanted to fund the initiative by technica so yeah that's something you can do so what happens is you know there are multiple jobs available in your area which can support you while you fund your initiative so maybe you wanted to do something you can go and look for regular jobs and see no job is small or big every job is job okay and it is important okay it will definitely serve someone right so there's no harm in taking up any job as long as it funds your bigger goal which is you know growing in your career so yeah you can always do that freelancing is also a thing which you can do so freelancing is like okay you're not getting a job maybe you have bioinformatics skills you can offer that uh, on various websites like upwork uh suppose you uh, have somebody in the network who needs your genomics expertise you can post on linkedin hey i am a genomics expert anybody needs any kind of freelancing uh, help i can help right at a uh, nominal cost something like that and then you will see your network will come back and reward you so that's the fifth point guys uh, freelancing is something which you can do now the sixth one is something which i did and that's entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is one of the bestest uh, way of growing in your life and your career and uh, many people mistake it with lot of money that's not the truth entrepreneurship is all about purpose in fact in this morning somebody commented that um entrepreneurship may you don't earn lot of money so that's true uh it's just like how you do phd there's no lot of money but you do it for satisfaction you do it because you have a goal you have an aim you have a passion so entrepreneurship is something like that yeah money is also there but it comes as a delayed gratification maybe in the future but initially you have to hustle a lot 
but entrepreneurship is something where you you know network with a lot of people you grow in your career because you get a chance to work with a lot of amazing people and different type of people who come and work with you and you work as a team and you create products and then you you know go to the market and sell it off so yeah entrepreneurship is also an amazing field which you can uh, choose so that's the sixth point i'll talk about entrepreneurship in uh, detail in little later maybe in another video but for now uh, i've written a book on entrepreneurship you can check the link in the description you can if you want you can buy that out it's a very nominal cost that probably will give you more ideas on entrepreneurship and how can you start a biotech company but hey that's uh, a topic for another day let's come to the next one uh, so that will be okay you don't have the money but you want to grow in your career so what are the ingredients you will need so suppose you have to like suppose i'm assuming that you are in kolkata and you want a job in biocon so biocon cannot give you a job in kolkata right so you'll have to move your cities right so of course you need some initial capital to move to bangalore and then look for opportunities yeah that is one way or maybe you can look for virtually some opportunities coming you can always do so basically you have to be open to newer opportunities in newer cities that's the point which i wanted to make because if you want to grow in your career only in your city you may not get the job for example northeast you may not see a lot of biotech in, uh, opportunities while in south you will see a lot of biotech in, uh, opportunities you may not see in some states you may see in some other states so uh, you know we have made a video on biotech clusters in india or top biotech cities in india you can go check that out and you can obviously you know uh, be flexible move out of your city to you know grow in, in your career i think that's not a big problem as long as uh, you're able to fund your initiative okay so yeah but moving cities will cost you so initially you'll need to earn something which with the help of the previous pointers which i told you the next pointer which i wanted to highlight is making sure that your cv in your cover letter is perfect and see it doesn't cost you money to make a cv right or a resume but if it is not having right skills as keywords if it is not having the right um, you know uh, way of uh, presenting it even if you have uh, you have done multiple things you will not get selected so cv you know redesigning your cv or making it better is very very important here and the last point which i would like to make is be positive you know money or not having money is not the problem okay the problem is not being able to manage without it okay so keep a positive attitude op uh, be open to newer opportunities whether in your city or uh, other cities uh, be open to you know online jobs or offline jobs your city jobs other city jobs be flexible and try to network more often and one quotation which i can remember right now which will definitely help you is uh, i think this morning only i posted that is when it's not that you can't make things happen it's just that you have to figure out things okay so there's no it's not that you cannot uh, uh, grow in your career without money it's just that you have to figure out how to do that i gave you some you know raw pointers probably you can have much more better and specific pointers so i think i can ask my audience which is all of you please put down in the comment section what other things you think we can do when you we don't have money okay as a 22 year old or 25 year old or 30 year old so when we don't have money and still we need to do stuff and then you can uh, you know then it will become a holistic video it, a complete video for everybody now to conclude let me tell you this that it is possible to grow without money money will never come your way as long as you are passionate as long as you love your work as long as you want to grow and you have a burning desire to grow in your field there will be people who will come and say things will not work your way there will be 1000 people who will come and give you free card advice that you're doing a mistake okay i know many people who do that but don't listen to that instead listen to what your inner inner self says because that's the real you okay so be comfortable in your skin and keep growing guys any video request anything you would like to know or any would anything you would want us to make a video on let us know in the comment section we'll definitely do that till then please take care bye bye